1986, Volume 1, Number 6. Dear Reader, thank you for picking up the sixth issue of the issue. You may notice that our format is not exactly glossy, that our printing is still black and white. Please, embrace the poor printing aesthetic. The emphasis here is content. It's questioning. This month we look at thought experiments, elaborate what-ifs to help us to understand the world that we live in. Imagine that people are divided into two groups, pickpockets and non-pickpockets. Pickpockets may only steal from other pickpockets. Their wallets are stolen time and time again. Non-pickpockets keep their same wallet their entire life. Finally, you may choose which group you belong to. Imagine that one day an old pickpocket named Joe is walking down the street and his hand slips into a nearby pocket and he pulls out a wallet that rings a bell in the back of his mind. As Joe walks away, what he realizes that he holds in his hand is his very first original wallet decades later. The leather is dry and crackly and there's a single dollar inside. It's the fossil of an earlier self. Joe walks home to his wife, Janet, a non-pickpocket. Her original wallet has never left her possession. It holds two credit cards and plenty of cash. The leather, soft and supple. The question is, would you rather be Joe or Janet? Would you part with your original wallet or keep it safely in your possession? If you said Janet, this magazine may not be for you. Dear reader, what if these pages reach eyes I've never seen? What if these words travel places I've never been? Parentheses. I've been two places, Philadelphia and Paoli, a suburb of Philadelphia, and parentheses. Fellow pickpockets of the world, enjoy. Olivia Jacobs, founding editor-in-chief.